Well, I would just like to start by saying that it was by God's grace. And by the time I finished telling the story, you will see what I, uh, why it says by God's grace. I went to Comprehensive High School, Aito, for my A-levels. And I was in the physics, uh, chemistry, biology class. In those days, the school start comes out after we started the A-levels. So when the school start, the result came out. I did very well. So our guardian counselor then, Mr. Olumide Kuti, who is now Dr. Kuti, called us one by one on how what we like to uh, become in life. So when it came to my turn, I said I would like to be a medical doctor. Then he said something like, ah, Nick, I know you have ability to read medicine, but I think you'd be a good computer scientist. And that was the first time I was hearing that word. I've never had computer science before. So I said, Mr. Kuti, what's computer science? He said, go to the library and find out. And I had to bring a semi-American Western state uh, of Nigeria school, very well equipped. Today, you just said the the facilities I made use of as an HSC student in Ayeto, you can hardly find it in any Nigerian universities of today. And I mean every word I am saying. So I went to the library in 1968, and I found a book on computer science in 1968, and I read to that book, and I. Read the history of uh, Ida Lovelace, the first acclaimed the uh, programmer, not my programmer, the first acclaimed programmer in the world. Oh my God, I would like to be like this woman. So I went back to Mr. Kuti and said, Mr. Kuti, I want to read that your computer science. That was my exact word. So he yes, said, okay, you have to change your subject combination. So I had to move from uh, biology class to back to math class. So I ended up with uh, physics, chemistry, mathematics. So I applied to IFE and I was uh, admitted to read physics because there was no computer science then. So after I finished my one year in IFE, I just saw Dr. Demi one day, who is a, a distant relation. I said, ah, Nick, are you are here? I said, yes. What are you doing? I said, well, I'm a physics student. I said, why don't you come and read computer science? Oh my God, I said, this computer science again with uh, Dr. Kuti. So I changed from physics. To computer science and became the first set. And something else also happened. Dr. Uh, Professor Luode was with uh, Dr. Emi in his office because he was the director of the computer center then. And uh, there was an argument which one I should do physics, uh, computer science economics, or computer science mathematics. Eventually, because I'm very, very, I don't know, adventurous, math I know, economics I don't know. And I wanted to know economics, so I chose. A computer science economics. So we I, we finished. I finished uh, in Ife and I went to Georgia Tech to now for my master's in now computer science uh, alone. And I came back and I started work in the uh, polytechnic. Then I went for my PhD in Ife. Professor now uh, Archbishop uh, Professor uh, Akinde was my supervisor. That was I won't go into that story because that too is a long story. Anyway. I finished in Ife. It was when I finished my PhD. I was told I was the first uh, PhD, female PhD graduate of the Faculty of Technology. I said, mm -hmm, really? Fine. Then later on, I found I was the first PhD, female PhD holder in computer science in Nigeria. I said, oh, really good. And I was working in the Polytechnic Badu. Then I went for an interview. By the time I reached the top in Poly Badu, I went for an interview. I said, it's time for me to move from Polytechnic from Badu and go to somewhere else. I went for an interview to become a rector of the Federal Polytechnic. My husband thought I will not get the job. But unfortunately, I got the job. Then he said, you are not, going, you are not moving from Ibadan. You are going to stay in Ibadan. So it's time for you to move to UI. And I resisted it. But he enlisted the services of another professor who was then the dean of faculty of science in uh, UI. And they needed staff badly. And here is this woman with a PhD in computer science. So between Professor Ade Somoju and my husband, I was dragged, I am using the word, I was dragged to UI. And today, for the first two years in UI, I resented it like mad. <laughs> because there is this dichotomy between university and polytechnic. They always look at people coming from polytechnics as being a fellow. And you know me very, I'm not going to talk in fairly complex on anybody. So I stood my ground that, I chose to go to the polytechnic because I didn't want to work in the same place with my husband. It's not because I don't have the ability to work uh, in the university system. So, 
I was downgraded to senior lecturer. So I said, fine. But my salary did not diminish. When I joined UI, to tell you so I was earning more than my husband because I reached the top in the polytechnic system. So for the first two years, my husband did not know how much I was earning because I was hiding my pay from him. <laughs> but I then worked hard. And to the glory of God, I became professor of computer science in 1986. It was when I went to South Africa in 19, I think 1988, and I was told that, do you know that you are the first female professor of computer science in Africa? I didn't know. So really, oh yeah. So I started searching myself to discover that that was the truth. So you see, I had no intention of going to the university system. So if I had gone to, the, to be a rector, there was no way I will become the first professor of computer science in, in, in Africa. Reading computer science, somebody made me to change my mind from medicine to computer science. I was reading physics in effect. Somebody also made me to change my mind back to computer science. So that's why I said all of these things, I did not plan them. It was a plan of God. And that's why when people ask me, I tell them it's the grace of God. It was nothing that I planned from onset myself. From HSC to university to polytechnic to University of Ibadan, everything just happened the way God wanted it to happen. So for me, I worked that go. I'm not saying I'm doing work hard. I worked that because when I got to uh, UI, I didn't have enough papers. That's why I was delegated to a senior lecturer. So I said, I need this paper. What's writing a paper? I did my PhD. That was the research. Writing paper is also research. So I sat down and I started writing papers and doing research, doing all kinds of things. And also, as I was doing that, I was also promoting people be, uh, under me. Because when I was there, I was only, uh, uh, I was only postgraduate lecturer in, in UI by, in, by the, with a PhD. So I decided to develop people who I met there. So the first thing I did was those with a master's who are lecturers, I started a PhD, uh, uh, postgraduate uh, program. And I made sure that they also had their own PhDs as their supervisor. Then we opened up. Then one day, Professor Amos walked to my office one day and said he was looking for collaboration between Nancy and you. I said, I jumped up. So we formed a, uh, we had a collaboration with Nancy, and that collaboration is still running up to today. So because of that, I had colleagues from Nancy who was also helping to survive students. And also then, it was that one who opened my eyes to, I, I can't, if I have colleagues in Nancy helping to survive a PhD student, why not uh, in Nigeria University? So I went to UNILAC, late Professor Shofoluwe agreed to, to, to assist, Professor Wadia agreed to assist, Professor Nonge, uh, H.O.D. Nonge agreed to assist, Professor Ayeni agreed to assist, Dr. Ade Romu, in if not Professor then, agreed to assist, Dr. I did, uh, Mudu also uh, promised to us. Then uh, Professor um, Akiyoko in uh, in a, in a um, Futa. So between all of those people, I was able. The Bamos was able to have a PhD graduates. So the department I met with only three people, or with only master's degree. By the time I was leaving, I left. 23, if you can't make, make, that would make 24. And 18 of them with PhD by degrees. So I also learned a lesson. As we are moving on, try to also bring other people. Because in my quest of bringing other people, and they were doing their research, and I was the one supervising them, we were able to write papers from their work. Because I'm their PhD, uh, uh, PhD supervisor. So because of that, I was able to produce papers quickly. And because of that, I was able to rise because that lesson I will never forget. Don't just go do it alone. Try to bring people up. As I was bringing people up, I didn't also know that I was also helping myself. So bringing them up, write papers, put their names, their bright. So, so I became a professor. So I just say everything I've been ordained by God. But I also, I also did my own bit. I didn't just fold my hands to say, God will do it. <laughs> As God was piloting me, I was also working hard.